FullHookUpSorderHammer.com and uh, MandalorianBrooks.com. Do another small update. I'm nowhere near done yet. I have the back plate to finish on this and um, my belt. I actually have a secondary belt that will come around. And I'm not, and I also have to do another strap on these thighs to hold them, uh, hold them up in position. Um, and I will trim up my tripping hazard a little bit more too. But this belt will sit up more once uh, I have more of my other belt put on and stuff. And I'm contemplating actually going without the thighs. We'll see about that. But this is my Mandalorian uh, Crusader outfit. Um, this will be the helmet that I'm going to go with. Uh, I, there's a lot of work still. Um, you can see the visor detail is drawn on where I want to cut it out. Uh, some breathers, all the hose coming out one side. Uh, I have to cut the whole back section out so it actually fit me because uh, it is a rather small helmet to put your head in. Beautiful helmet, uh, some sanding done to it. I rushed him, that's why it needs a little bit of sanding, otherwise it would have been perfect. I did rush him though. Um, it looks really good. So, we're going to do we're gonna get some photos, but I'm going to put this bucket on. You know this bucket doesn't match the paint job. Um, this is my assassin helmet versus my crusader helmet. Uh, so, I'm just going to put this on so you get an idea how it's going to look with, with a bucket on. Now, we, like I said, we're missing a belt with all the pouches on it yet, um, and the thighs can be adjusted heavily, but I'm going to grab the weapon behind you too. Yeah. And this is the, the melee weapon that will go with this suit. And this suit more than likely will not be... Uh, an official suit. It probably won't get approved because it is made from EVA foam and right now it's not an approved or um, what's it? not approved. Authorized. Not authorized. Same word. Different word. Same definition. Anyway, it's not an approved uh, material. So uh, the council is checking into it for me though. And if they ever do, then the suit will, I uh, will try to shoot for an official suit. Small adjustments made. Uh, it's the first time I'm trying it on as a whole, just so I can see where I have to make the adjustments. Um, and the, the, uh, one of the concerns about using the EVA foam was the fact that making it look real and would, would it be flimsy. And to be honest with you, uh, the suit is actually pretty darn, uh, if you were to get to feel it. And what's cool is one of the approving team members lives in Dallas. So when we go back to Fort Hood, uh, I was talking to Jason. Uh, he's also he's an official member from the, uh, from uh, Mandalorian and Mercs. And we're actually talking about taking a trip up there to meet this guy in Dallas and uh, let him see the suit. And maybe when they actually see the full thing in person rather than on video or images because of uh, images and video can make something look a lot better than it does in person. And that's understandable. So, But once I get it the way I want it to be, uh, then we'll do that. Uh, I still have some weathering to do, some straps to do, small adjustments. Like I said it's the first time I'm putting the suit on as a whole, and I didn't even have the backpack done or the back armor done yet, so that's why I'm not even going to bother turning around. Um, I don't even know how I look. So how do I look? Pretty good. Pretty really? Good. I, I'm not. I'm not putting the armor on, especially the thighs, not having the thighs fully strapped properly yet, where they'll stay up and in place. They should sit nice against the leg. Uh, without that being done properly, I don't I don't feel right. They, they're like flopping, and I, just, I don't feel comfortable in it, you know? Uh, right. It's not where I want it to be yet. But like I said, it's just a test run, so we'll go from there. And my melee, my <laughs> conventions, uh, Friendly. Friendly melee weapon. Uh, convention friendly armor. And as cool as my darts. So it's a secondary weapon, will be darts on that arm, and then uh, plasma blasters on this arm. So, and a little spiky things there. Because the old Crusaders used to 
have a lot of spikes involved in her armor and things like that. So I had some off the wall kind of little spikes to that. Uh, and they have a solid chest plate, hence why I have the solid chest plate and a lot of armor. This would be considered a heavy armor uh, crusader, I would assume. Considering I have armor on every bicep, shoulders, gauntlets, gloves, chest, abs, hips, thighs, shins, boots, and even covers up part of my ass. Okay, in the back, and the back uh, armor will be on. So I'm gonna assume, and with the with the weapons uh, on the gauntlets, heavy weapons on the gauntlets, so I'm gonna assume it's a heavy, heavy armor, Crusader, and this is a uh, Mendo. Dola Mendo. Alright, we're good. Remember, if we can do it, so can you.